I'm Tristram Stewart and I am author of Waste Uncovering the Global Food Scandal and in the course of this uh, writing this book I saw food being wasted at every link in the supply chain. Today we've brought a tiny amount in comparison to all the food being wasted. We've got enough here to feed 5,000 people. All of it would have been wasted, it's all fresh. From UK farmers and packers who currently throw away hundreds of thousands of good tons of good fresh food solely because the supermarkets have got these cosmetic standards, really strict cosmetic standards. So if an apple is slightly too small or too big or a cauliflower has a tiny bit of earth on it, the supermarkets won't stock it and ultimately farmers waste huge quantities of it. I just went and spoke to them as I've been speaking to them for years and said look you're wasting it why don't you give it to us and it's been like pushing an open door. They have been overjoyed to put this food to good use and it's not just about today. We have here as volunteers from one of our partner charities Fair Share. They are in the daily business of taking unwanted good fresh food from the food industry and distributing it to people who need it and they do that on an everyday basis and we've forged links in the process of creating this event between people who have food they don't want and people who need it. There are a billion hungry people in the world and yet in rich countries we're using resources to grow food which we don't even eat. But what we're saying here today is that the solutions to this huge problem are actually really simple. It just means eating food rather than throwing it away. Couldn't be simpler. It's common sense. Seven years ago when I was working on this campaign it was like hitting up against a brick wall. Now it's like a snowball running downhill and it's getting bigger. There are good government policies coming online. The government needs to be a lot stronger about enforcing those policies. But they've got the right idea. Hilary Benn has been saying some of the right things. He needs to be more strong in the supermarkets though, more powerful, stand up for his policies. What I think is an encouraging trend is that people are beginning to realise that food isn't just about money, it's about the use of natural resources. Not what we can afford to throw away, but what the planet can afford in terms of how much food it can produce, whether we're going to leave a planet to our descendants that is healthy and can continue to grow food for them, whether we're going to completely destroy all the forests and all the wildlife and, and biodiversity that exists within those forests. Those are the questions we need to ask when we think this is a lump of food, it's taken land and resources to grow. We should eat it.